We all know that forward-facing sonar is creating new fishing techniques, but could it also bring back some older ones? Here's the first older one that might come back, the float and fly. This was a technique that I think first got known in Tennessee during the colder months. They would fish for suspended fish with this rig where you basically have a float or a bobber with a set length of line underneath it. And attached at the business end of the line is a little fly like a crappie jig but bigger than that you just lob the rig out there and uh, it would hit the water and let that bait suspend at a consistent depth and the only action that would be imparted is whatever the wind and the waves gave it so as you know with forward facing sonar a lot of guys are fishing for suspended fish and if those fish are not closer to the bottom sometimes it can be a problem keeping that bait up above their heads where you want it so they're going to bite it 